Alright guys, so the dogs were going nuts and I didn't see anything out here. And Cora and Liesky were barking and barking. And I seen them out here at these logs. <clears throat> only to come out and find somehow this goat got trapped down there. How did you get down there? I don't know if I can get her out or not. Lisky, good job. Alright, I'm gonna set this camera down. I don't think I can get her out one handed. At least you won't hardly let me even get to her. Cause you gonna bite me if uh, I try to rescue the goat, huh? They're they're trying to figure out how to get her out. So oh, how am I gonna do this? And that baby's trying to get to her too. So all right, I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, try to rescue her. Right. Oh, how you got in there? Golly. Out. It's all right. Okay, so we got her out. I do not know how in the world she got in there. <sighs> you guys saved the day because she wasn't saying nothing. And if you guys weren't over here barking, guess what? I never would have heard her. <sighs> There's no telling how long she was in there. I let them out first thing this morning, and now it's in the evening time coming out to do the feeding <clears throat> luckily we got good guard dogs that didn't leave her sight and that was a uh, barking and alarming us good job to Leesky and miss cora good job bubba i still do not know how a goat got on her back down in here because you see these logs we got them all kind of setting up here but they're not where they can roll or anything it's not like they're laying on top of each other where they can roll they're all pretty much on the ground but somehow she got stuck down there and it, i could not it's all i could do to uh get her out of there i had to actually try to pick this up this log this is a big old walnut log Let's put my hand up here to show you I had to kind of roll it out of the way and try just to make a little bit of a gap and i barely got her out of there it wore Leesky Palm out, didn't it, Bubba? Huh? It wore you out? Oh my gosh. Goat, you're lucky you got some good guard dogs, you know that? Oh man, you better go get you a drink. It's too hot today. Uh, let's go tell Cora how good uh, of a job she did. Cora! You know what? You and Leesky saved the day. Yeah, you saved the day. Good job. Good job. You all wet. You been in the pond? Huh? You all been swimming in the pond? I bet you have, huh? You ready to go eat? <sighs> your heroic actions are done for the day. Now you can go eat your dinner. How about that? You want to go eat your dinner? Oh, he's a good boy. Good girl and good boy. I don't even have my camera, guys. I'm using my cell phone. Did not have any intentions of uh, doing a video today. But stuff like this, gotta record it. And uh, that is crazy. You can see that goat. She is slowly walking back over to join the uh, herd. Everyone's just kind of over there browsing and grazing around, eating late in the after. It's actually early in the evening, but it is pretty hot today good job guys good job you want to show them the news huh you guys want to show them the new news Corey said yeah I'm excited let's show them well come on so I don't know if we've told you guys yet or even showed you but we got some new babies um well I think I showed you on the last video but if not if you're new or you missed it we got a couple new babies we got some twins out here I had them locked up for a couple days because you guys know we got the new guard dog guard dog Cora and we weren't sh quite sure how she was around these newborn baby kids well mama is uh, very protective so you can kind of watch watch this Cora started getting around her mama or around the babies and mama said nope 
you're not gonna play with my babies. So we don't really know if Cora would play with them, but she was at least wanting to go check them out. And the weirdest thing is, the whole time we had the uh, babies in the barn locked up in the stall, Cora would not leave their side. It was the weirdest thing. And the mama's gonna, hey, hey, hey. Look, Cora just bows down to her. She says, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to watch your babies. But yeah, Cora would not leave their side. She wouldn't even hardly go outside the barn because the babies and the mama was locked up the whole time. And Cora would actually just sit there and whine. Rachel and I would hear her just whining. And it's, look, look, she won't even, she won't even bother Leesky at all because she's so used to Leesky. So that's, that's a good mom. That's signs of a good mom, signs of a good dog. Not bothering the kids at all, just being curious, checking on them. And then you got Miss Cora that's kind of checking on them and everything else. And uh, the mom isn't quite sure. The puppy, um, you guys know puppies like to play. Okay, so of course, stuff like that happens. We all try to record it. You know, when you're a YouTuber, you try to record things like that because it just makes good content and, you know, it's documenting the life here on the farm or vlog, whatever you want to say. And it's the real deal here. So uh, why not film it, right? So we don't normally give our dogs treats, not the uh, two livestock guardian dogs out here, because we want them to stay bonded with the goats and stay with the goats and do their job. And you guys just witnessed the guard dogs protecting that goat. That was uh, rolled upside down, stuck in those logs and uh, pretty much defenseless. If there would have been a predator or anything, it would have just been able to eat it right up. So I've got some uh, hamburgers that we cooked for dinner last night, had in the fridge for leftovers, but I think the dogs are well deserved. What do you think? What do you guys think? Can you sit? Hey, sit down. Sit, no, nope, don't jump, sit. Whiskey, sit. Good boy, you want the first one? All right, hold on. I got enough for both of you. Here's Leesky's. It's cold, I didn't warm it up, so I don't know if you guys mind or not. Here, Cora. Hey, 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 Here's yours. Guys, when you have livestock or any kind of animals, this is what you should expect from them. Um, you can't get any better than that when you talk about livestock guarding dogs. And like I said, every farm, every scenario is different. Whether you live on a big ranch, a small hobby farm, whatever. Even if you live in the city, if you raise these type of dogs. Cora. Hey, Cora, come here. Here's yours right here. Let me break it up for you. Here, let's break it up. Even if you live in the city, guys, and you raise any kind of dogs, but especially livestock guardian dogs, they're going to have an instinct of protecting whatever they're raised around, whether that be your kids, livestock, other pets like cats, other small dogs, whatever. And these, in this situation, these dogs knew to not leave that defenseless goat. Cora, you got your own girl. So like I was saying, you just don't, there are certain instincts and stuff that you just cannot train in a the dog. They just have to have those instincts. And in this case, they came into play. And uh, I don't know if it was uh, more Leesky staying with that dog, I mean the goat, or what, but uh, both of them were there. So even if it was just Leesky doing it, Cora was picking up that good trait. And I'm gonna walk out here. I'm gonna let these eat, I'm gonna let the dogs eat these, uh, their little, I guess I'll call them treats. I'm gonna walk back out here and uh, I wanna show you guys again what this mama goat does when Cora gets close. I don't know how much of it I got on my cell, cell phone because like I was saying, um, we all try to record things, whether we got a, a nice camera or just a uh, cell phone. We all got cell phones pretty much nowadays and they got nice cameras on them. So when things like this happen, we try to record it. And in this instance, I didn't have my good camera, but I had my cell phone, so I recorded it. And uh, what happened? It says, cell phone too hot, cannot open camera. Hey, but they're like, oh, this is my crumb, this is my crumb. Come on, let's go see this mama goat. Come on, 
So I'm gonna walk back out here with this mama goat and I wanna show you what her reaction is to Cora and the difference between her reacting to Cora and her reacting to Leesky. She's used to Leesky. And I apologize if I'm repeating myself. Like I said, I don't know how much of that I recorded a while ago. Come on, pups. <whistles> Mama and babies are just chilling out, out here in the shade. Mama's been out here eating, getting some dinner. And then Miss Cora's right here. She knows to keep her distance from these babies. And this is a good thing. This is, this is very good training for livestock guarding dogs. Even though Ginger is a first time mom, she is a very, very good mom. She will not let Cora anywhere near her puppies. Come here, Leesky. Come here. Let's check on these babies. Come on, let's check on these babies. Yep, you know not to bother that mama and the baby, right? See, she didn't even do nothing. Leesky walked right in front of her. Now, I'm gonna walk closer to this mama and watch what happens when Cora gets close. She's not gonna do it now. Are you hot, mama? And I don't want the mama to hurt her. I just want to show you guys. She does not want this pup anywhere near her babies. Whiskey is not a big deal, but... Come here, Cora. No, no. All right, I'm, not, I'm gonna get away from him because I don't wanna... I don't want the mama to stress out anymore or headbutt Cora, but... Are you hot? Are you guys wanting some dinner now since you got your snack? Huh? Let's go get your snack. And get your snack? I mean, your dinner? Man, I'm tongue twisted tonight. All right, come on. I'm gonna keep the camera on to see if anything happens as I walk away. She's keeping her eye on Cora. Cora, come. Cora, come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. You're not gonna hurt them babies, are you? You're just being curious. So is Mr. Liesky. All right, let's go get your food. All right, guys, so, uh, <laughs> it's, it is a uh, great feeling when you have dogs like this and every time they do something, it doesn't always have to be a tragic event like that. Um, that could have went south real quick. Um, luckily, uh, I got off work and uh, came home and come out to feed. The dogs are barking and that is not normal, especially in the middle of the day, in the middle of the field. Um, first thing came to mind was, oh, there's a snake over there in that log pile to walk out there and no it was no snake it was a goat upside down that was uh starting to not be able to breathe i don't know if you guys could tell how shallow her breathing was but she was laying upside down and that's just an abnormal position for a goat but other than that she had two giant logs on either side of her body that was pretty much squishing her so probably 20 30 more minutes she could have started going brain dead from lack of oxygen i'm i'm just uh assuming so the dogs oh skeeter what are you doing i didn't know you were out i, I heard someone walking behind me and i thought it was core i thought i didn't close the gate all the way but let's grab them some food and we'll go feed them real quick and while we're in here let's see how the emus are doing well, you got, you got pine shavings all over your neck. Oh man, you guys need some water. I see you guys spilt your water. So they have been drinking out of this chicken water, but this glass bowl right here, we've been keeping it full of water because they can drink out of it so much easier. And they're doing just great. Um, I got on Chewy.com, ordered that food for the emus, and that's what they're eating now. And We've been coming out with, with them about, oh, every evening. Rachel's been coming out in the daytime and spending time with them and talking to them and holding them. And then in the evening time, we've been putting them out in the yard in the uh, dog kennel run, letting them kind of get some sunshine and some fresh grass and stuff like that. But so far, all is well. All right. You wanna say hi? Can you talk? Huh? Can you talk? Sound like a little Tootie Bird. And of course I went in to get feed and now the dogs, oh, they're way over there. 
Let's see if you guys can see them. Lisky, Cora, you guys ready to eat? Huh? You guys ready to eat? Come on. Come on. Come on, Lisky, Cora. I think they're coming. Guys, it is uh, really hot today, so we've been, uh, went from spring straight into summertime pretty much. Come on. They're probably wanting to get in that stock tank to swim. I know Lisky gets in there. Rachel and Caleb come out here yesterday and cleaned out the uh, stock tanks for the goats. And of course, she said as soon as Lisky came over there, he got right in the stock tank. Pond. All right, come on. There's your food. You are all wet. You've been on in the pond, haven't you? Come on, Cora. Cora, girl. Come on. Cora, come on. We're gonna get a uh, feeder like this and put it over here just for Cora because she's always in his food. And now that the goats don't really bother him, come here, Cora. Oh. I'm tired. You gonna come eat? Got your eggs in there. Oh, you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. At least if you weren't all sick and wet and uh, stinky, I'd give you a big hug. I don't know if you guys can see how wet he is. Cora, come here. Come on. Come here, Cora. Alright, I'm gonna leave them alone so they can eat. Let's go feed Mojo. Yo, ever gonna do any tricks on camera? Huh? Let's see you do some tricks. Nothing? <laughs> they like to get out and run and play. They really do like that. It seems like they're growing really fast, too. He's more worried about eating right now. So a lot of times when the temperatures get up in the uh, high 80s, 90s, these livestock guardian dogs, a lot of times they will not eat. Um, they'll eat very little, if any at all. Sometimes they will go days without eating. So I know a lot of people that raise livestock guardian dogs will email us and leave comments saying, I think something's wrong with my livestock guardian dog. Um, usually it's in the summertime when we get them and they'll say our dog hasn't eaten for two or three days Don't worry uh, dogs are made to go days if not weeks without having huge meals um, You know back in the days Wolves even today, which I don't care what anybody says it's proven dogs are descendants of wolves If you study wolves today wolves travel in packs and sometimes they'll go weeks days weeks whatever and they'll finally catch an elk or something and it'll take them a while but they'll finally get a meal but that might be the only meal they get for like you know a week who knows but they are made to where they can survive and thrive by not eating all the time and i think that is where these dogs get it you want to go eat or are you too hot you can see how hot he is and uh he just got brushed out the other day he's still shedding but he's shedding his winter coat but you can see how hot he is and he's not even doing anything. He's laying up here out of the sun in the cool, on the cool concrete. You wanna go eat? I got you some eggs, how about that? Looks like you've been digging because your nose is dirty. Come on, let's go eat. I know you would eat because you're an inside dog. Come on, you wanna go eat? Come on, Mo. Let's go eat, Bubba. Come on, let's go eat. I hear, I hear Millie. Come on, Mo. Sometimes I gotta coerce him to come. Come on. Hey, come on, boy. You're shedding. Come on, Mojo. Come on. Mo, come on, boy. He said, okay, I guess I'll use my energy to come eat. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. He said, Dad, you're gonna make me get out in the sun to come eat. Come on, boy. So of course the goats would eat, they don't care how hot it is, they'll always eat, but 
Guys, a lot of times, I'm telling you, do not freak out. If you have these big giant dogs like this, they stay outside all the time. There are, there are days where they will not eat anything. You can come out here, bring them all kinds of raw food, all kinds of different food, and sometimes they'll take a bite. That's it. Sometimes they won't eat anything at all, but that's just part of it. And uh, the whole time that we have raised these livestock guardian dogs, we have not had one that would just eat everything he gave them every day. There was days where some, sometimes every dog we've ever had that was a livestock guardian dog just would not eat on certain days. Come on. Come on. All right, clear the way for the big man. He's hungry. He says he is. He followed me out here anyways. And there's one of the little babies right there. Pumpkin's a little baby. <laughs> hey, you gonna eat if I give you these eggs? Huh? All right, there's one. And I gotta make sure I don't throw the eggshell right here underneath Mojo because the chickens try to get it. And then he gets mad at them and chases them. There you go, buddy. All right, Millie, where you at, girl? There's Miss Millie. There's Miss Millie. Millie's got the prettiest feathers. She's got the longer feathers. Oh, there's that mean chicken. This little barred rock hen is mean to the geese for some reason. She doesn't really attack them or anything. She just follows them around and they, she makes them really mad. So where is the other baby? I'm trying to find Ginger. So that's one of the babies. She's staying underneath Mojo because he's casting a shadow. Where's your, where's your uh, sissy? Huh? Where's your sister at? Let's go see. Oh, Ginger's over there. Let's go see how the other baby's doing. Here's Ebony's babies. These are the same age. They were born at the exact same time. Ebony, your babies are doing good and growing. Ebony's a good mom. All right, so I don't see the other baby. It does a really good job of hiding. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's camouflaged. Camo. That's a little ghost face. I don't know what to call it. Well, you know, little girl. I just cannot believe this is a girl. This is the first time we've had a goat that had those moon spots like that and the white face. Very pretty. I hear you chickens, Boris Johnson over there. All right, now, you guys ain't gonna believe this, now my camera is uh, getting a too hot alarm. Let me turn it off for a second. Okay, I went ahead and just turned it off and turned it right back on because some of the past cameras I've had, I'd be out here doing videos and talking away and everything and then all of a sudden it just shut off and that last file that you were recording on would just get erased. So I didn't want to lose everything I just talked about, but I guess it's a good time to wrap it up. I don't know why these cameras are getting so hot. Like I said, it's only in the 80s. That ain't good because we get well up in the hundreds here and it ain't quite summertime yet. There's, there's Mr. Walt. You see the girls are all going over to the uh, kiddie pool to take a dip. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this video with you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on it. Um, we take a lot of pride in our farm, in our farm animals. So as the camera keeps shutting off, I'm trying to end the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, you just never know what is gonna happen on the farm, but we take a lot of pride in raising our animals, running our farm, and especially the guard dogs. They are a big asset to our farm, protecting them, just alarming them, alarming us when there's things going on with the livestock, when there's a predator nearby, when a goat is stuck in the fence or in this case stuck in the logs so stay tuned because i'm sure we're going to have a lot a uh, lot more hero videos you guys seen the ones with mojo now Leesky and cora gets on out in on it again daisy had one last year with the bobcat it's just it's it's awesome to see these dogs doing that type of stuff and, and we got a youtube channel so we vlog it record it and uh, share it with you guys so if you guys aren't subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below leave us a comment what do you think about the uh goat that was stuck in the logs how in the world did she do that so leave a comment and we'll see you next time